Hello, this is Ivan for watchandlearn.com and during the course of making these videos there have been some developments. Specifically Drupal 8 came out and as you remember when we started this tutorial uh, series we used Drupal Release Candidate 4. So if we go to Drupal page right now you can see that you can download the full version, full official release of Drupal 8. So in this quick video we are just going to update our installation to use Drupal 8 instead of uh, Drupal 8 RC4. Of course if you tuned into these videos uh, a little bit later you are probably already using Drupal 8 so you don't actually have to follow this video you can just go to the next one which will be released I think tomorrow uh, but for all of you that uh, watch these videos from the beginning uh, we will now update our Drupal installation so to do that I'm just going to go to Drupal site and I'm just going to click learn more right here and then I'm going to press download and then I'm going to download this tar.gz file I'm going to put it on my desktop. Okay, so once that is done, we are going to unzip this file. So I'm just going to double click it, wait for it to unzip. Just one more thing, so whenever uh, minor release of Drupal comes out you can follow uh, follow these exact steps to update your Drupal core so right now if we go to our Drupal installation and go to extend you will see uh, these there are updates available for your version of Drupal if you don't see that uh, you can go to update and then just press check manually but I don't have to do that so it's going to run cron and as you can see Drupal core is currently in version actually on my installation in, is in version 8.0.0 RC4 but the recommended version is 8.0.0 okay so what I wanna do now if we just list all of the modules that we have installed for Drupal you can see these these are the core modules and if you click on them you will see that the version of those core modules is 8.0.0 RC4 so we want to make this just be 8.0 okay so to do that as I said before you will do this every time the Drupal is, uh, has a ma minor release so you can update your Drupal core first thing I go I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my Drupal installation and I'm going to remove core vendor and all of the files in the root of the folder except for gulp file.js and uh, not composer but package.json so <clears throat> you will remove all the files that you didn't add yourself so everything Drupal added you have to remove those and of course core and vendor folders so I'm just going to delete them okay so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open this Drupal 8 folder on my desktop and I'm going to just move the core right here and I'm going to move the vendor right here and also all of the files that are in the root so all of those files are going to our installation so we remove the core remove the vendor and then remove all of the files and now we're bringing them back but from the new newer ver version of Drupal okay I'm going to close this one out and the next thing we have to do is we're going to go to our dateaming.dev or maybe it's uh, localhost slash Drupal or something for you and I'm just going to do update 
PHP. So to update our database. So press that. And then you just do continue. And apply pending updates. After this is done, you can go to your front page or administration page. So we are going to go to front page. Okay, everything seems to be working fine, but it actually isn't. So if I just click on configuration right here, you will see not found. Also, if I click on appearance, you will see not found. So if you get this kind of errors, uh, this is because Max Finder doesn't show hidden files. So I'm just going to take this Drupal 8 and put it in my assets folder. And if I open it here, you will see these hidden files, specifically this htaccess file. So it doesn't have it and because of that we get, uh, get not found uh, pages. So I'm just going to copy all of these hidden files right here. So if you're on Windows, you will have view and show hidden files if you're using Windows Explorer or whatever it, it is called. So you just got, have to find the way on your system to show hidden files. Okay, so now that we have those hidden files in our uh, Drupal root, I'm going to refresh this page. And if I go to let's say extend right now you will see that everything works also configuration appearance and so on so if we go to extend right now and go to the core and just click on these actions you will see that the version right now is 8.8.8.0.0 uh, uh, and not 8.0.0-RC4. So we are running the newest version of Drupal 8 right now. So remember, every time that Drupal uh, releases uh, some kind of minor release, you can update it this way. Because currently uh, Drupal doesn't have automatic updates, and at least for the core. Okay, so this is it for this episode. We installed our new Drupal installation. Uh, remember, if you're coming uh, a little bit later to these tutorials, you probably don't need to do any of this because you will already have uh, official version of Drupal installed. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.